Hello and welcome back to Rolls Love Gaming and our last play series here in Football Manager 2019 where we're playing Bath City Football Club and trying to take them to the top of the Premier League. So far we are four seasons in and second season in Verma National League and we're doing alright I'd say. We are a little bit off from uh, the playoff zone but uh, definitely a lot better than last season where we uh, just uh, barely survived not getting relegated and I noted here a little bit uh, funnier Wrexham who were here searching in the league they haven't actually uh, drawn a single game so they have 10 wins and uh, 13 losses uh, which is quite odd really uh, I'd say And we'll just move forward here towards the next match day who are against Sutton United and uh, as an away team uh, so it will be a little bit harder for that but they are last in the league so it should be a pretty easy game. And we'll of course uh, this decline the interview here from uh, Northampton Town but we just wanted to check. Uh, which league they were in or which tier they were in uh, a little bit interesting to see how much our um, manager status have improved or not or so to say and we have some play development advice here and, uh, let's see here Yeah, only good uh, things really, and nothing special to take action uh, about. Anyway, as we move forward towards uh, our uh, next match, remember to smash that like button if you enjoyed the series, and also if you haven't done so already, hit that sub subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Roswell Gaming. And if you have any questions, thoughts, or anything like that, Please do leave a comment, I read and reply to everything and the most important, not important, informative and positive comment will get pinned, just so you know. And with that said, we'll move on here in the full force towards the, the next match day and we'll see here uh, if we can get away with uh, a good result there. So we we're first meeting the team that are last in the league and the match after it, the team that are first in the league and both away matches so pretty funny lineup here actually for this episode and uh, hopefully we can uh, do something good about it and let's check this scouting meeting and see if they have found any interesting players or uh, any interesting players have uh, offered themselves up for us and, and that's not really the case and uh, here we have some pre-match tactical advice and uh, we'll see here yeah nothing special to note there really and we are strong favorites according to the bookmakers and a pretty good uh, training week once again with 7.58 or very good as an average rating so should be time pretty soon here again I think to uh, praise players here uh, for the training performance actually I think that might be time to do right now so we'll do that right now or actually let's see here how we're uh, yeah we'll do that right now and we'll hope that uh, yeah I think we we'll praised Brunt uh, last time around so it shouldn't be any trouble here with any players getting upset or tired that we are praising them too much uh, which is something you can do uh, which is a little bit odd I guess but uh, yeah if you always get told that you are doing it very good I guess that is tiresome as well of course but still Anyway, so we'll praise all players here doing uh, 8 over 8 or more. And I wanted to take a little look here on grey, so we'll do that. 
Yeah, and the rate's been improving here a little bit on uh, quite many stats here. Uh, hopefully it can, it can improve even more and even faster maybe, so he he will have a chance to stay in the team. Uh, for At the moment he's one of our weak, weakest links uh, together with uh, Oli Merch. William Sermo, yeah, they can be removed from the uh, shortlist and no problem whatsoever. And as usual, we'll let the lads play that needs match sharpness for uh, 60 minutes per match in the under 23s from our senior squad until they are match fit, so that's good. And we'll go to team selection then here for uh, this match against Sutton. And uh, yeah, we have the correct players in uh, the team here. And so, how did Brunt do last match? I believe he didn't do that great actually. Oh, 6.8, that's alright. So, we'll play Brunt uh, again here instead of uh, Ponticelli. And we have Rig, Stuart, Tavares and Potzelli on the bench, which is good. That's the correct players to have. Yeah, I said Gray and Merch here being our weakest links, definitely. And after that, actually, I think we would really need a really good striker. Uh, it's something, something definitely that we could be uh, could 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 uh, mean a lot to us. Uh, but anyway, let's kick this match off. And we'll just play it and uh, as a new striker or anything like that is probably more for next seasons. Uh, since I don't really think there will be any more signings this season, we already have signed quite a few players and uh, have gotten offered quite many players and things like that as well. So I don't think it will be any anything more really, that's, that's really the case. Uh, in best case, we could could snap up our uh, left winger that we have uh, uh, chased all season long, but we'll see. And here we have a free kick from Sutton just outside the post there. And at the moment, so things are certainly not looking our way, uh, since uh, Sutton seems to be dominating the game here so far. Which is uh, not good and uh, not what we wanted at all. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the first half. So the scoring is 0 to 0 for Bassett versus Sutton. Shots 1 to 5, shots on 0 to 1, and possession 52 to 48%. So as said, uh, Sutton dominating the game here, really, and uh, not at all what we want to see. And uh, yeah, we should really just be doing better. Uh, and at the moment, we should be pretty glad, I guess, that we are. Uh, not losing the game at the moment, and uh, we'll see here. Yeah, we we'll, shouldn't uh, definitely criticize uh, Connor here, and we will criticize both our strikers as well. So, yeah, the team overall are not doing too good at all, actually. Uh, our defenders are doing pretty well, though, and our goalkeeper, but other than that, not really the case. So hopefully they can uh, pick themselves up here in the second half and uh, do better. Uh, but it doesn't really seem to be the case, so we'll uh, switch in Ponticelli instead of Brunt here and uh, Rig instead of O'Connor here very early on in the second half just to get some changes and get uh, the worst performance of the, of the pitch. And we'll start shouting here the man more. And we get a highlight here, free kick from Sutton and just wide of the post. Very near there actually, but uh, it was wide, luckily enough. And uh, next highlight here in the 67-68 minute, Sutton with uh, the press here it seems, but uh, Akinola getting there and uh, taking care of that. And it's a ball up towards Adloy, Adloy versus the keeper maybe, no, he turns up and it's to Panticelli and it's a goal for Bath City here. And we take the lead here in the 68th minute. 1-0 to zero for Bath City versus Sutton here. So very good 
stuff here and uh, good by Adeloid there, not choosing to shoot I guess and a very good pass there and a good run from Ponticelli getting through there so very very lovely stuff so only 20 minutes to go now really to uh, pull this together so to say uh, we certainly haven't been dominating the game but uh, yeah, we, that change were certainly more dangerous than uh, most of their chances. And here comes more, and it's another goal here for Bad City SD, and another goal by Ponticelli, and uh, now the scoreline 2 to 0 for Bad City versus Sutton here in the 81st minute. So probably will be the the final well, final result of the game, but. Uh, not not uh, not so maybe but uh, nonetheless I think we secured a victory there at least so that's very nice and looking at our goal difference actually it's pretty darn good uh, we should be higher up if we're just considering the goal difference and here we should have the final whistle here in a second and there it is so the final whistle and the final goal line for Bassett versus Sutton is a 2 to 0. Shots 6 to 10 and shots on target 2 to 2, possession 53 to 47%. So definitely a much stronger second half here. And uh, definitely did the right swing here to switch in uh, Ponticelli as, as soon as possible and also rig instead of uh, O'Connor there. So very good substitutions here I feel. And uh, overall our team doing very well here merge a little bit of a low uh, low mark but other than that very good so a very good result here and uh, very pleased with that especially after the start that were not at all uh, as good I uh, will praise Ponticelli after that match, which were uh, very, very nice. So that's very good. And now we have quite a short rest until uh, the game here against Leighton Orient. And we get, did get a note from our assistant manager that Gray is very tired. Uh, so I think we'll probably rest him here in uh, the next game and uh, play Rig instead, I guess. And anyway, after that match day, also we are tenth in the league, three points off uh, from the playoff zone, and uh, fifteen points clear of the relegation zone. See here if I get anything more interesting. No, not really the case. And, uh, well, interesting in the main that is. Ferguson removed from a shortlist. Yeah, sure, I guess. Yeah, that's all right. And we'll go to the next match and the team selection here very shortly. And we'll take a look at our shortlist as well before that. And uh, our assistant manager suggests to move to defensive for the upcoming match. And uh, yeah, I don't think we'll do that. And uh, we'll add all of these uh, team instructions though. As suggested, stay on feet, drop deeper and shorter passing to improve the chance of a result. And according to the bookmakers, we are super much underdogs here for the upcoming game, and uh, yeah, that is understandable. Uh, we'll ask Prant to try and resolve this issue here. And that couldn't be possible, so we'll talk to him and uh, we'll uh, add him to the loan list. And hopefully, we can loan him out and uh, he can hopefully get better. Uh, by being loaned out that would be uh, really good and I will decline this interview job offer from Scantorp and sorry for uh, butchering all the, all the names of the teams and uh, things like that probably but uh, yeah, trying our best here so to say and uh, yeah, team selection 
will go to that uh, very shortly. First we will take uh, the scouting here and shortlist and let's see here. So it's Kilmore who we are possibly interested in. So approach to sign him and I yeah, can still actually even talk to him. And let's see here. Yeah, Gray definitely being tired so definitely going to play Rig there instead. And Burton and Charles also very tired here. So we'll play Stewart. And actually I think we'll maybe also play Paxman instead of Burton here. So that, yeah, definitely going to play a weaker team here. Uh, it seems like. And yeah, we'll play Tavares instead of Akinola who's also tired. And we need to play Genovese instead of Ugle Humba. So yeah, very much a B team here. And uh, we'll actually go with very defensive than even. And yeah, we are stronger through, let's see here. We are now stronger through the left hand side. So we'll uh, focus play down the left. Early crosses, yeah, defend narrow, short passing, tempo extremely low, yeah, that seems alright to me for this match, so we'll submit the team and go here. So really this is a match where you are expecting to be very pressured and not to lose this game, but uh, we'll see here. You never quite know what will happen. So first highlight here in the fifth minute, just oh, just feel not the case, but Leighton Orient here with the ball, uh, just outside the penalty area at the moment, and just passing back and forth really and getting in here now in the penalty area and headed safe. Safety, or not safety, but straight at our keeper, and our keeper shows safe hands there. Which is good. And uh, all these green boxes will try to make those changes, uh, since that are technical changes from our assistant manager that should help for our result. And unfortunately here it's a goal for Leighton Orient uh, here in the 19th minute after a corner. And yeah, let's see here, yeah, it feels like we missed in the markings there definitely, they had three players and we had six players inside the penalty box and still they managed to get in there, uh, which is not that great at all. And a free kick there, very nearly another goal. And Genovese getting a hit there, but we'll see here, we'll let him play out the first half at least. And we do have a highlight here, and it's uh, a penalty I guess. Yeah, it's a penalty for us. So Brunt versus the keeper, and uh, yeah, this might be our chance to get a, a result here. Come on, come on. And it's saved by the keeper there. Brunt trying his usual and shooting at uh, the middle of the goal and the keeper there going to the right but being quick enough getting back to back to to save the shot. And uh, yeah. So the scoreline after one half is 0 to 1 for Bassett versus Leighton Orient. Shots 1 to 13, shots on target 1 to 3, possession 45 to 55%. And uh, yeah, we definitely have had a tough first half here, and we'll go here. Uh, that we are not happy with the prompt, of course, and a few more players. Connor being one of them, and uh, Genovese as well. And Adelois also. And uh, yeah, that should be everything, but uh, yeah, we are definitely not playing at our best so far tonight. So. And the ball back down to the keeper of Leighton Orient here. And, uh, 
waiting for the goal kick and they played pretty slow there and the ball going down towards our defenders and uh, heading it up to the midfielders of uh, Leighton Orient but uh, we are getting the ball back here and Adloy trying a through ball that didn't get through and the ball all the way back down to Genovese on our left hand side and to Rig to Brandt to Rick again and Adrig with a through ball to Adeloid, Adeloid versus the keeper and he ships it into goal and it's all equal here one to one for Bassett versus Leighton Orient in the 49th minute and uh, not at all what I really were expecting here but uh, okay, one of the best uh, um, through balls or finishes I have seen so far by the team here <laughs> very nice lob there by Adeloid uh, classy finish and uh, good technique there getting that ball in in such a way and uh, next time here in the 53rd minute and uh, that throw in definitely on the line so thought that it was more outside than in though but uh, yeah and they are playing the ball for there late on orient and uh, cross were in there but cleared by Genovese but only out to late on orient again unfortunately and the cross is in and it's saved by our keeper there the header from a late on orient And the goal kick done from Barrett and it's headed eventually to O'Connor here on the right hand side passing back to Merch, passing to Stewart to O'Connor and it passes into Paxman to Brunt and Brunt trying to play a through ball there and failing and our defenders failing there and it's a goal here for Leighton Orient unfortunately and now the scoreline 1 to 2 for Bassett versus Leighton Orient and a bad miss there from our defender uh, you won't see it here pretty soon uh, there our defender I don't know what he were doing uh, but yeah a very bad and costly miss there unfortunately and definitely time to make some substitutions now uh, so we'll play Akinola here on the left hand side even though uh, the he will not be as effective there, but you know, he's retired, very tired, and have a yellow card and a very poor rating as well. So, can't really see uh, any other option here, really. And we'll let Gray play here on the right hand side, after, uh, since O'Connor have such a poor rating. And we'll take off Brandt for the same reason, with a very bad rating, and let Ponticelli play instead. Now Gray will uh, unfortunately not get the rest that he might have needed, but uh, yeah, it uh, it is how it is in this uh, moment. We can't really do that much more. And uh, a new highlight here in the 72nd minute. And the ball all the way back to our keeper and a kick here up towards uh, our players. And uh, we managed to win it back and rig here with a through ball for Adloy. Adloy versus the keeper and it's a goal here for Bath City. And it's all equalized here again in the 72nd minute here. Bath City versus Leighton Orient. So definitely been effective here so far in this match I'd say. Uh, I can't think that we have had many more shots than two here so far in uh, this match uh, at all. We'll check that now. We have had three shots and all on target, which is very nice. So next highlight here in the 78th minute and uh, yeah, late on Orient with the ball here yet again. And they are pushing us, of course, which they should be. And we have Ponticelli and uh, <laughs> trying to play a through ball, but much too deep there. Uh, so the ball in Brzozowski's hands here in late on Orient. And the goal kick is up and up to late on Orient players here. And then they play here on the left hand side, passing into middle and uh, playing wide. And it's a header here, and it's a goal for late on Orient. Unfortunately, a very quick response here in the 79th minute on the scoreline now 2 to 3 for Bassett versus late on Orient. Very good uh, wide play there and a good. Uh, 
very good uh, cross there actually. I uh, can't say too much about the markings there, but uh, I guess we missed somewhere in the markings as well. Uh, it's my guess, and yeah, Mersh there taking a big hit in in his rating, so probably his fault uh, in some way. And we get a new highlight here in the 83rd minute, and uh, Leighton Orient versus Org Keeper, and it's another goal here for Leighton Orient, unfortunately. And I guess that really settled the match here. And the scoreline now 2 to 4 for Bassett versus Leighton Orient. And yeah, they have so much people coming to their game. Very full stadium here, I'd say. And yeah, Mersh getting into blame for that goal as well. Uh, so yeah, Mersh is a weak uh, link in our team, but that we know. And uh, yeah, this should be the final whistle here in a second. And that's it. So the final scoreline, two to four for Bass City versus Leighton Orient. Shots six to thirty-one. Shots on target four to thirteen. Possession forty-seven to fifty-three percent. And uh, yeah, overall I think we did pretty well actually. And overall I feel like we almost were uh, close to maybe even winning in this game or something. We did have a missed penalty and uh, and played overall really well and really effective. Uh, unfortunately our defense not being that great uh, especially merchant or keeper but other than that uh, overall the lads performing I'd say uh, especially Ricky and Adloy they are getting very good uh, but sure yeah our midfield and attackers could be doing better as well but uh, yeah, overall not too shabby I would say um, even though we had a very poor ratings on quite many players, but overall I am still happy with the, that result. And anyway, after that match we are now 11th in the league. Uh, still 3 points off from the playoff zone and uh, 15 points clear of the relegation zone. And yeah, very high attendance there as you see. Four and half, a little bit of over 4,500 persons coming to see that. Uh, match and we'll praise Adelaide's performance here in that match and that will be everything for this episode so if you have enjoyed it remember to smash that like button and if you haven't done so already remember to hit that subscribe button as well so you're not missing out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Ross Glow Gaming and with that said thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time bye bye